All right, ladies and gentlemen, time now for the Glory Lightweights. And first to the Glory Ring, a confident young fighter with great Muay Thai skills. Please welcome Reese McAllister. Twenty-one-year-old dad's lad, Reese McAllister of the United Kingdom, taking this fight on short notice, filling in for the injured Jay Z Cavalcante, the mixed martial arts veteran who was scheduled to fight here at the Glory Super Fight Series, but was injured. So McAllister gets an opportunity, currently ranked 15th in the Glory lightweight rankings. I'm excited to see him. He comes from a second generation. His dad was a great fighter in the UK as well, and he's a very exciting, well-rounded striker. His opponent is a knockout machine from down under with a 68% knockout career ratio. Please welcome Steve Moxon. Five-year-old Steve Moxon, a diminutive dynamo in the lightweight division, one of the shortest fighters in the weight class, but this guy packs a punch. His favorite fighter of all time, none other than Iron Mike Tyson. Started fighting at the age of 18 for weight loss and fitness purposes. Went five and one in 2012, but is coming off a loss in his glory debut at Glory 5 against Jordan Watson in London earlier this year. Has won three straight fights since then. I'm looking forward to seeing him fight tonight. He's got that signature Australian kickboxing style with heavy low kicks and big bombs. He's going to look for the knockout all three rounds. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for this Glory Super Fight Series lightweight encounter. We got a four year age difference there. The advantage to Mox and obviously uh, the, got the height advantage for McAllister. They both weighed in at the mark of the same weight and they're almost the same reach. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this bout scheduled for three three minute rounds in the lightweight ranks of glory. Introducing first, standing on my right and fighting out of the black corner. Trained in Muay Thai, he hopes to battle his way into the top 10. His professional record 36 wins, four losses, one draw, undefeated in one other glory appearance. Standing six feet even, 1.83 meters, and weighing in at 152 and one half pounds, 69.1 kilos, representing the United Kingdom, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Reese Dad's Lad McAllister. Here now is his opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner, an ISKA South Pacific middleweight champion. His record, 33 wins with six losses, one draw, 22 big wins by knockout. At five feet, six and a half inches, 1.69 meters. He weighed in at an even 154 pounds, 69.9 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Australia, here is Steve Stone Cold Moxon. Once again, the man in charge of the ring is Chris Wagner. Right here, right here. All right, gentlemen, I want a nice clean fight. I'll be my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner. I tell you to go to, remain until I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? I want you to fight fair, fight hard, touch gloves. So action in the Glory Super Fight Series lightweight division. McAllister, known as Dad's Lad, about to become a dad for the first time. His fiance Janine expecting a baby girl due next month. Moxon made his pro debut eight months after he started training. Again, 22 of his 33 fight. wins have come via form of knockout. The bell and round one. Impressive start from Moxon, coming out firing punches and kicks. Tried to get on the inside of the taller, rangier McAllister. And McAllister taking the fight on short notice. Push kick by McAllister. Inside, low kick by McAllister, knee to the midsection by the UK fighter. Moxon in the white gloves, McAllister in the black. 
Get in there and do work like that. He needs to stop him with the jab. Don't reach out and push him. That's how he's going to get blocked. Very aggressive start by Moxon. Jumping knee by McAllister. And it's 45 left in the opening round. Moxon's going to the punches. Good bob and knee there as McAllister slips the punch. Don't wear it. You've got to work. Champion. Midway point of the opening round. Sloppy right head kick there by the counter. He needs to set that up. He has, he has a great kicking game, but he's got a punch to shield it, to disguise it, and then he can land that knee or kick if he puts it behind those long arms. Lots of circle moving from the ropes. Lands the left hook behind the guard. Right, you're going to work the legs. Final 60 seconds of the opening round between Stone Cold Steve Marson, Australia and England. Reese McAllister, push kick by McAllister off the ropes. Now in the corner, Marson avoiding that right head kick. Come on, work. Yeah, again, McAllister's trying to hot shot him one shot. Right now, you know, Moxon's just outworking him. He's throwing overhand hook constantly. The pressure is what's winning this fight for Moxon right now. Referee Wagner admonishing Moxon for the punch behind the head. No rapid punches. There's 30 seconds remaining in the first round. Wide left hook there by Moxon. Catches McAllister with a right. Outside leg kick. Now coming in again on the attack is the Aussie fighter with 15 seconds left in the first round. So it's been the pressure attack of Moxon. And as you put it, Duke, the hot shotting of Reese McAllister. Good start for the Aussie fighter Moxon here in the first three minutes. How'd you score the opening round? I give that 10-9 for, for Stone Cold Steve Moxon. He came out there, he went to work, he's out hustling him, he, and he's backing his opponent up. It looks like they're trying to make an adjustment in McAllister's corner. They're trying to tell him to pick it up, pick it up. Very talented fighter, but you can't win if you don't throw. You, you got to throw combinations, and that's how you're going to land big shots. Work the lean back, all right? Put your knee more, all right? All right, you're taking some of those knees, all right? Having time to score, all right? You're taking some of those knees. I need right, you hurt in this round. Let's go. Coach, wipe up this corner. Coach, wipe up this The bell in round two, Steve Moxon in the white gloves, Reese McAllister in the black, Moxon packs huge power in both hands, had the edge, his power strikes in the opening round, 11 to 6, and again comes forward, inside low kick by McAllister, swinging wildly now are both Moxon and McAllister, not really setting anything up, Moxon in the white gloves, McAllister in the black. Some unique footwork there from Moxon to throw off McAllister's rhythm. I like it. You know, he, he's going side to side, moving in and out. McAllister's have a hard time finding those, those big strikes and knees, so he's doing a good job with that. Yeah, Moxon has done a very good job in negating the reach advantage by McAllister so far in this fight. He's been a much more active and aggressive fight. Good, good. Right hand, a nice combination, culminating with the outside low kick by the Aussie. Under two minutes left. There you go. I don't know. Back on him, Reese. Money kick on the jab. Money kick. That movement by Moxon. Exchange kicks. Beautiful counter on the head of him. I like that movement, but you can do all that. That movement, use it to fire back. If you make a miss, you got to make him pay in the fight game. There you go, Alistair. That's what you need to do. There's a nice 
nice liver shot. Oh, 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 knee to the face. That's what you got to do against the shorter guy like Moxon. And you got to stay aggressive. Because if you can keep those knees landing when he's coming in with the big punches, he can stop him from punching you or rock him while he's coming in. He can't let Moxon just come in and swing. Moxon met McAllister four oh. years ago, and McAllister was 17. They were in Thailand, and they actually uh, did a little spot. So McAllister eats that right hand from Moxon. Moxon again delivering a series of right hands, teeing up McAllister, right uppercut, right cross. 30 seconds left in the round. Moxon, go for it. You could finish him. I think Moxon could finish it if he just jumps on him. I think he's got him rocked. McAllister misses with the right, but then catches him with that right cross. Ten seconds. So we are through two rounds here of this lightweight matchup between Steve Moxon and Reese McAllister. Nice combination by McAllister. Get two looks at the liver shot and the head shot that hurt him. Here we are setting it up. He countered with an uppercut, the knee. You know, right now again he's negating him. Same thing. He wants to slow him down with these punches and, and get him off balance with that hook, knee to the face. That's gonna slow Moxon down so he can't rock those big bombs. But here's that beautiful overhand right that gets him completely off balance and keeps him out of the space so he can't knee him. It's just a battle of styles here. He's Moxon's dropping big punches, so McAllister can't throw those big knees. Stand in this round. Your turn to take his round. Let's go. Come on. He's got Come on, it. Lovely Alyssa, one of the Glory Girls on hand here at the Glory Super Fight Series as we get set for the third and final round. Round three, round three. Fight! The bell and round three. Moxon representing Australia in the white gloves. McAllister out of the UK in the black gloves. Moxon's mentor, none other than Peter Graham. He's no stranger to big knockouts. His 2006 heel kick finish of the bad boy Bader Hari has uh, become a kickboxing legend. He was on it all night. He was hunting that KO. You gotta love that fight style. Reminiscent of, of my good friend and former uh, adversary, Stan the Man Longanides, hunting those big punches. He may be small in stature, but you just saw how much of a punch Moxon packs. Making a statement here and stopping short notice replacement Reese McAllister dead in his tracks. Well, he was going for it the whole fight. He, that's what I like about Moxon's style. He's looking to knock people out and he achieved it tonight. And Moxon evens his glory record to one and one in scintillating We're fashion. Take a look at it again. Attempted overhand right. He's been, oh, and he follows through. He threw that left hook so he could come back and set himself up. That's why he kept swinging into it. Again, overhand, he looks for the hook and finds the, the chin. By continuing to punch, throw those combinations, that's how you're gonna hunt knockouts. If, if you admire your work, you won't land. Moxon didn't catch him the way he wanted to with the first punch, but then he followed up with that one because he just kept hunting it. Throw combinations, you'll get knockouts. Again, he missed with that one, missed with that one, but found the mark. That's why we throw combinations, and, and that's how you win big here in the glory ring. And thankfully, McAllister is on his stool in the corner. Seems coherent, but for Steve Moxon, making a very loud statement here as he records his 23rd knockout win. Here's the stat, but only one punch counted, that knockout punch. 
again, he just kept throwing those combos. He was haunting that overhand right all night. Let's go to Tim Hughes to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an official time of 28 seconds in that third and final round. This bout comes to an end by way of knockout. Your winner, Steve Moxon. He is 4-0 and oh as a professional boxer with three wins inside the distance, showcasing that boxing prowess with a thunderous right hand to KO.